Have you ever heard of an element so powerful it can light up cities or send a spacecraft to the farthest reaches of our solar system? It's called plutonium, and it's one of the most fascinating and misunderstood substances we've ever created. Now you might think of it only in the context of scary spy movies or historical events, but there is so much more to its story. Plutonium is a testament to human curiosity and our quest to understand the very building blocks of the universe. It's a heavy hitter on the periodic table and its properties are, well, out of this world. Let's dive in and explore this incredible element together. So, what exactly is plutonium? On the periodic table, its symbol is Pu, and it has an atomic number of 94. That means every single atom of plutonium has 94 protons packed into its nucleus. When it's freshly made, plutonium is a bright silvery metal, but it quickly tarnishes to a dull gray when it's exposed to air. It's also surprisingly warm to the touch. This is because it's highly radioactive, and as it decays, it releases a steady stream of energy in the form of heat. The most important version, or isotope, of plutonium is called plutonium-239. This is the one that's really good at sustaining a nuclear chain reaction which is key for both energy and, yes, weapons. The discovery of plutonium is a fantastic science story. It was first created in 1940 by a team of brilliant scientists at the University of California, Berkeley. Glenn T. Seaborg, Edwin McMillan, Joseph W. Kennedy, and Arthur Wall were the pioneers. They didn't just dig it out of the ground, they made it. They bombarded a target of uranium-238 with particles called deuterons in a giant machine called a cyclotron. This experiment transmuted the uranium into a brand new element. Following the pattern of naming elements after planets, like uranium for Uranus and neptunium for Neptune, they named their discovery plutonium after Pluto, which was considered the next planet out at the time. Because it's created in a lab, plutonium is known as a synthetic or man-made element. You won't find large, mineable deposits of it anywhere on Earth. While incredibly tiny trace amounts can occur naturally in uranium ore, it's not enough to be useful. For all practical purposes, every bit of plutonium we use has to be manufactured inside a nuclear reactor. This process starts with uranium, specifically the common isotope uranium-238 inside a reactor a U-238 atom can absorb a stray neutron. This simple act sets off a chain of events that transforms the uranium atom step by step into a shiny new atom of plutonium-239. It's modern-day alchemy all powered by nuclear physics. Creating plutonium is one thing, but getting it out is another challenge entirely. After uranium fuel has been used in a nuclear reactor for a while, it becomes a complex mixture of leftover uranium, plutonium, and other radioactive byproducts called fission products. Separating the valuable plutonium from this highly radioactive soup is a process known as nuclear reprocessing. It's a bit like trying to find a specific needle in a haystack full of other slightly different needles, all while the haystack is glowing hot. This process is done with extreme care using remote-controlled machinery behind thick, protective walls to keep workers safe from the intense radiation. The main technique used to separate these elements is called solvent extraction. First, the used nuclear fuel rods are dissolved in strong acid, turning the solid metal into a liquid solution. This liquid now contains all the different elements jumbled together. Next, this acidic solution is mixed with an oily, organic solvent that has a special talent. It is very good at grabbing onto plutonium and uranium atoms, but not so good at grabbing the other waste products. The oil and the acid don't mix, just like oil and vinegar and salad dressing. The oil, now carrying the uranium and plutonium, is separated, and further chemical steps are used to split the uranium and plutonium from each other. Once separated, this plutonium-239 becomes an incredibly potent source of energy. One of its primary uses is as fuel in certain types of nuclear reactors. When an atom of plutonium-239 is struck by a neutron, it can split apart in a process called fission. This splitting releases a tremendous amount of energy as heat, along with more neutrons. These new neutrons can then go on to split other plutonium atoms, creating a self-sustaining chain reaction. This controlled reaction generates immense heat, which is used to boil water, create steam, and turn turbines to generate electricity for our homes, schools, and hospitals. It's a powerful way to harness the energy locked inside an atom. Of course, the same properties that make plutonium-239 an excellent fuel also make it a key ingredient for nuclear weapons. The uncontrolled chain reaction of fissioning plutonium atoms can release a devastating amount of energy in a fraction of a second. 
This dual-use nature of plutonium is why its production and handling are so strictly monitored around the world. The international community works hard to ensure that plutonium intended for peaceful energy production doesn't fall into the wrong hands. It's a powerful tool, and with great power comes great responsibility. The science is fascinating, but the global politics surrounding it are just as complex. Let's look beyond Earth. Have you ever wondered how we power spacecraft that travel to distant planets like Jupiter and Saturn, or even Pluto? Solar panels work great for missions close to the Sun, but as you travel farther out, sunlight becomes too faint to generate enough electricity. This is where another isotope, plutonium-238, becomes the star of the show. Unlike plutonium-239, this version isn't used for chain reactions. Instead, it's valued for its steady, long-lasting heat production. As plutonium-238 naturally decays, it consistently releases a significant amount of heat for decades. It's like a battery that never dies. This reliable heat is the secret behind a device called a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, or RTG. An RTG is essentially a nuclear battery with no moving parts, making it incredibly durable. It works by surrounding a core of plutonium-238 dioxide with devices called thermocouples. These thermocouples are amazing materials that can convert a temperature difference directly into electrical voltage. The heat from the decaying plutonium makes one side of the thermocouple very hot, while the cold vacuum of space keeps the other side cool. This temperature gradient generates a steady flow of electricity to power the spacecraft's computers, scientific instruments, and communication systems. Thanks to these plutonium-powered RTGs, we have been able to explore the outer solar system in ways that would otherwise be impossible. Famous missions like the Voyager probes, which are now in interstellar space, the Cassini mission that orbited Saturn for over a decade, and the New Horizons probe that flew by Pluto, were all powered by plutonium. The Curiosity and Perseverance rovers currently exploring the surface of Mars, also rely on RTGs. These generators provide the power needed to operate through the cold Martian nights and dusty seasons when solar panels would struggle. They are the unsung heroes of deep space exploration. Beyond space, plutonium has a few other niche industrial applications. Small sealed sources of plutonium are sometimes used in devices that measure the thickness of materials, like metal sheets or coatings, without ever touching them. This is done by measuring how many radioactive particles pass through the material. It's also used in a process called neutron radiography, which is like an X-ray but uses neutrons instead of light. This can be used to inspect engine components or other complex machinery for internal flaws that might otherwise be invisible. These uses are highly specialized but show the versatility of this remarkable element when handled with care. Now we can't talk about plutonium without addressing the serious safety concerns. Plutonium is toxic both chemically like other heavy metals and radiologically. The biggest danger comes from inhaling plutonium dust. If tiny particles get into the lungs, their alpha radiation can damage surrounding tissue over time, increasing the risk of cancer. This is why plutonium is always handled in sealed glove boxes which are airtight containers with built-in gloves that allow scientists and technicians to work with the material without ever coming into direct contact with it. The facilities that handle plutonium have sophisticated ventilation and filtration systems to prevent any accidental release. The other major global concern is nuclear proliferation, which is the spread of nuclear weapons. Because plutonium-239 is a primary material for making these weapons, countries around the world have established treaties and inspection regimes to keep close track of it. The International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, plays a crucial role in verifying that nuclear materials in peaceful programs are not diverted for military purposes. This global effort is essential for maintaining international security. The goal is to ensure that we can all benefit from the peaceful uses of nuclear energy without increasing the risk of nuclear conflict. It's a delicate balance that requires constant vigilance and cooperation. So, while its role in weapons gives plutonium a fearsome reputation, its story is so much bigger than that. It is an element that has pushed the boundaries of science and engineering. From being a cornerstone of carbon-free nuclear energy that powers our cities, to being the lifeblood of robotic explorers venturing into the darkness of deep space, plutonium has enabled some of humanity's greatest achievements. Its unique properties make it an invaluable tool for science and industry. It reminds us that the elements on the periodic table aren't just abstract concepts, 
They are real substances with the power to shape our world and expand our horizons. As we continue to explore the universe and search for sustainable energy sources here on Earth, our relationship with elements like plutonium will continue to evolve. The challenges of handling it safely and securely are significant, but so are the potential rewards. By understanding the science, the physics of its atoms, the chemistry of its compounds, and the engineering of its applications, we can make informed decisions about its future. So next time you hear the word plutonium, think beyond the headlines. Think of the science, the exploration, and the incredible journey of an element born not in a star, but right here on Earth, in a laboratory. Consider the possibilities.